I'm Mike Burnage from the NIOSH Office of Mine Safety and Health. At some time in your mining career, you may be faced with a mine emergency. This might be a fire, an explosion, an inundation of water or gas, a major roof fall, or perhaps a combination of these. Regardless of the event, you will have to make critical decisions about what to do and how to proceed in order to reach safety. But before you can make these decisions, there are a few things you need to know. First, you need to know the layout of your mine and the locations of portals that lead to the outside. You need to know your mine's ventilation system and how air travels through your mine. You need to know your escapeways, where they are, how they're marked, where they lead to, and also the tactile signals you find on the mine lifelines. You need to know how to use the SCSRs your mine provides and also how to use the refuge alternatives that are available. You also need information, as much information as you possibly can gather about the event that you're facing. The more information you have, the better your chances are of making good decisions about what to do and how to proceed. Evacuation and escape are your first lines of defense. Try every possible means to get out of the mine. But if you find that evacuation is impossible, you may have to make an extremely critical decision, that being whether or not to seek refuge in a refuge alternative. Regardless of the type of event that you may face, you will have to make these critical decisions. If you have any questions, you can always ask your mine foreman, your mine safety director, or any other mine official. The more you know about your mine and the more information you have about the event, the greater your chances are of making good decisions, decisions that could help save your life.